G'day! In today's video, I'm just having a look at a very budget Lenovo laptop. It's having a bit of issues. <clears throat> Currently losing my voice, but let's get on with it. So if you have a look at this, what's the issue that we're having? Well, the issue is, I've just turned this on, and we're running at 89% memory capacity, and we haven't even loaded a thing. We go over to the side to performance. We can see memory. Memory usage, 4 gig, we're currently using 3.4. How much is available? 367 meg. What are you going to run with 365 meg? Or fluctuating? Virtually nothing. We go over here, we have a massive 3.6 gig. So I'm assuming about 600 meg or so is being used for onboard graphics or other reserved things of nature. This thing is just going to crash. You'll even think about clicking on Chrome and this is going to crash. Basically, if you've got a Windows 10 or probably even Windows 11 machine going by the search bar and auto uh, copilot being here, you're not going to have any fun at all running Windows 11 with 4 gig of RAM. This will need to be changed. Hopefully, this idea pad slim one does have an actual extra slot. Looking under slots used, it says one of two. So I'm hoping there is actually a slot on this. As I do know, most of these idea or idea pad slims with the Ryzen 3050 or 3060 use tend to only have onboard sodium memory. There we go, Naflon Silver 3050U. Let's turn this off and have a look inside. So I've got just eight gig of Crucial, 3200 megahertz. Pretty sure this won't run at 3200 megahertz speed, but it's relatively cheap to purchase. So you get 2400 megahertz speed and it's probably gonna perform exactly the same, but the dilemma that we've got is a lack of RAM in this computer. This is gonna up it from four gig to eight, 12 gig in total. So 12 gig of RAM in here, as opposed to the previous four. Let's get this back on. And now we are back. Funnily enough, look at the memory usage. It was higher than what we we're actually getting before. So the weird thing is there must be two gig reserved for the onboard graphics. If you look at the graph, chugging along. Uh, what have we got? Nope, or in CPU, let's get a RAM. There we go, now we're nice and going. 12 gig, 9.9 .9 gig is being actually utilized as RAM. But that is much better. Now you could potentially actually open something. Before, we weren't even getting up to 3.7. So the amount of micromanaging that this computer would have had to done to actually fit that in there is ridiculous. Well now, it can actually breathe. So if you've got a cheap older laptop, it's definitely worthwhile going into Task Manager and seeing how many slots it says. Hopefully you've got one of two being utilized, which means you can upgrade it and make it usable. There we go. Even though as we're sitting here, we're now at 3.8, which is definitely more than it was before. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. So upgrade that RAM. Get off 4 gig of RAM, your computer's gonna crash or crash, crack it, and not be pleasant. Bye.